Hello, Mayuko. How are you? I'm good, thank you. You're very late. We started the class at seven. There are 10 other students in this class. <laughs> All right. So still, you haven't made up your mind about the test when you want to do the test? No. Uh, I'm thinking. End of the May. Mm, I'm thinking July or August. I don't know, but. OK. All right. Uh, but but before that, make sure you do all the tests, yeah, so, yeah. all the mock tests. Yes. Uh, the mock tests. Uh, I mean, two weeks ago, something like that. Did you, did you ask me to do to take it for you? Uh, no, I mean, I took a mock test. Uh, when was that? Mm -hmm. I forget when I took it. Ah, uh, because if it is more than a week, then I cannot check it because. Ah, uh, yeah, I. I took a mock test a, a month ago. Oh, okay. And then it was 49. Mm -hmm. So do you think, am I able to re reach the 65 for next two months or three? Yes, but for the next two months, we got it that, well, do one more. So you did G, right? Did you yeah. do, okay. Do mock test A, and A as, yeah. soon as, as soon as you did it, let me know, okay? Let me know, and I'll give you a feedback where you need to focus more, yeah. all right? Okay. Yes, and I think uh, probably one of the uh, sections that you need to improve is... Uh, Maybe read aloud. The read aloud, yes. You need to read very fast, uh, Mayuko. So okay. Your pronunciation doesn't matter. You skip words you don't know, okay? You don't like, just skip mm -hmm. them, but try to finish it very quickly, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you don't have to make sense, remember. Let's just practice some before someone else comes in, okay? All right. <laughs> okay. A few years ago, um, scientists discovered three foot skeleton of an early human species on an Indonesian island. They nicknamed the creator a hobbit, but the find uh, left science with the two major questions. Do these uh, 80,000 year old bones represent an entirely new human species, or is it uh, just someone with a growth disorder? Now the rest bones may provide an answer. Good, very good, better than, very good, better than before. All right, another. The Dow Jones Industrial Average DJIA reports the average stack of peeps of rats publicly traded US companies. It trends to reflect the state of the stock market as a world, so it's the name that would read you to re believe that DJI and is made up of only industrial companies. The DJI, in fact, contains stocks across many industries, not all of which are industrial. Okay. So, as I said, skip some words. So, for instance, DJI, you don't have to uh, you just skip it, okay? They believe that D. Just say D, they believe that D is made up of only industrial companies and the D is in fact, okay? 
Yeah. Um, this is a favorite brand among architects and designers because of the incredible sequence of new Colombian architects throughout his just as in many respects it is a it is more and more flexible and less this makes reading materials Bamboo is a favorite plant among architects and designers because of the, its incredible length and one Colombian architects refer to it as nature steel, but in many respects it is even better than steel. It is uh, larger and more flexible and this quality makes it, it the ideal building material in areas that suffer ski and severe weather patterns. Very good. Okay, so yes, touch on words and go quickly. Yeah, that was good. Another one? Consumer skills every day, however, it needs to be recognized that just being able to make use of some consumer skills doesn't already a person as a cancer. Why helping my while helping other people in a practical way, many volunteer and professional helpers also make use of uh, some considering skills. These skills can be very useful in enable people to feel better as describes in this book and our book, Considering Skills in Everyday Life. However, it needs to be recognized that just being able to make use of some considering skills does not qualify a person as a counselor. Excellent, very good. Very good. Okay, so remember this is speed. Remember this is speed. This is good. Another one. Just the same speed, even faster. This ticket this uh, ticket drivers are through and balanced introduction to the Australian legal system. It provides a clear grounding in the Western and legal trade, as well as the history of Australian law and legal institution. There is a special emphasis and on law methods, which forms the basic of legal understanding. Very good. Okay, just remember, if a word is uh, hampering you, just skip it, go to the next one, okay? That's fine, all right. So apparently tonight we have a private class. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Okay, you can have one more. You remember in the test, you get six to seven, okay? In June 1998, I Um, great strong evidence that this was subordinate particles known as harmless. This finding of content appears. In June 1998, an international team of Japanese and US physicians unveiled um, strong evidence that. Uh, uh, Subautomatic and um, particulars known as hub mass. These findings run counter to the standard models of particular physics. The basic theory about the structure of matter, which holds that these electrically neutral, weakly interacting particles have no mass. Oh, you finished here, okay? Yeah. So, all right. So, let me do one, okay? So, remember just basic. Uh, so you see, in June 1998, an international team of Japanese and the U.S. physician, you have to have an English accent, okay? Just 
connect the words on bad is strong dividends that the elusive atomic bomb for our, you see you don't have to i didn't even read this i said i don't see the topic bomb with some particle known as the next you know how fast these families have a counter to the standard model of particles. so the ones you know you pronounce the ones you don't know is that so i so this one i, I, I don't want to pronounce it. okay so uh standard model of particle like uh, the basic theory about the structure of matter which holds that the uh, you know, so weakly interacting particles have no mass so the ones i know i pronounce the one I don't know. I just touch on that. I don't know if I do that. All right, just make. All right. Okay. We can do one more. Yes. Right. If you say you are a scientist faculty, you have to have all the core science. And this course will mean we attract a new supply of potential. For Professor David Phoenix, the Dean of the Faculty of Science Technology, the return of a single owner's chemistry is a matter and pride. If you say you are a scientist for jury, you have to have all the core science, and this course will mean we attract a new supply of potential masters and PhD students chemistry. Good. Okay. Good. Better. Now, uh, which which section do you want to practice? Mm. <laughs> I always ask you, and you make yeah. decisions today. You only make. <laughs> Maybe reading. Reading, okay. Which one? Reading and writing fill in blanks or this one? Uh, fill in the brown. Uh, fill in the brown. Uh, no, first one. The first one. Reading and writing fill in the brown. Okay. How far have you gone on the book, uh, the collocations? Uh, I'm doing, checking. Unit. Which unit? Reading and no, which unit? Unit nine, unit eight, which unit? How far did it go? Right, it's my book. <laughs> I'm doing the unit, unit. three and, ah. and also maybe we did some Also, I did some unit lines. Oh, okay, because yes, up to unit 10, I have uploaded, all right? Yeah. So I want you to finish at least half the book, the okay. repeat sentence. First, do the repeat, for instance, unit five, do all the 100 first, repeat all the 100, and then do the, te the um, reading and writing fill in the blanks, okay? This is how you do it. Yeah. All right, good. Now let's get started with this section, fill in the blank, re reading and writing. So I want you, before you're, Mark, mark test at least finish half the book mm -hmm. now <clears throat> um, okay yeah, Pratica. Okay. I don't know. Um, there are a few grounds to be in relations which have been set. Um, to um, no prepare. Very good. It's a good. Um, idea to say 
to afford the help, to prepare help, to provide help, to arrange help. So you say uh, afford cannot be uh, between these two. You see, that's how you do it. Okay. Arlen. All right. I don't know. <laughs> So just the mental occupations. Very good. Okay. Which involve persons for trying to provide and organize particular help for others, helping other people in a particular practical way. Okay. Help us also make. Us? These skills can be very useful in sure. enabling a restaurant. Need to be observed. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> oh. All right. Remember, it's to provide help. Okay. So some, some organ yes, they provide help. And so when we compare two things, we say, while I was watching television, comma, my friend, while I was watching television, my friend opened the door, uh, for example, okay? So while I was watching television, my friend opened the door. Now, so that's the kind of uh, structure that we use here. So as cannot be, as he was going, mm, no, okay. And recognized, okay? It needs to be recognized, we say. So the, co the collocation is recognized. It needs to be recognized. But you got two, four, 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 correct. That's good. All right. Aspect. It's being it's for and carefully it's for and carefully I'm not sure, uh, arranged. Very good, yes. Arrange or organize. We don't have organized, so mm. arrange. We contract many events. 
Very good, yeah. That's it? Yes. Yeah. For the very competitive. And to focus on the event concept. The event we go. Uh, I don't know. Number three? Okay. I don't uh, know the meaning don't... of the. All right. Let me check. Yes. Focus on some event. Concept is a bit of events. Legal. No, legal compliance. It's all uh, legal compliance. compliance. Yes. Uh, so yeah. you, you comply with law, you comply with police, means you cooperate, mm. compliance. Okay, so event management is challenging from an operational viewpoint. Okay, from an operational viewpoint. Okay. And this one, events are a stage on site where everything has been set up. Yes. Okay, so everything is being set up means that it is doing right now. Okay, so um, if, yeah. if, if they are fixing your television mm -hmm. right now, you say, uh, they, uh, my television is being fixed right now. All right, yeah. but Usually we don't use the yeah. <laughs> So yeah, very good. Has been. So synchronized. Okay. Oh, and often one five years before the oh yes. Um bids, bids are one. You win a bid. Okay. So you win a bid. All right. So I, I didn't read the rest, otherwise I, I would say achieve a bid. Uh, win a bit so that this this would make sense if you read it like that all right okay capital has been often this is a real exam question oh. this is a real exam question yes First one, but our voice and well being also on. There's a position, realize very good, realize on. <laughs> We regret the service and not naturally existing word which very good. Say which justify our economy, support our economy, establish our economy, undergo our economy. So which one makes sense? Sustain. Undergo? Uh, no, 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 no. As establish? <laughs> it's actually support our economy, okay? Support yeah. our economy. Okay, next. So that's a collocation. Support the world. This service includes water. So it's our climate. We govern our climate, 
tamper our climate, classify our climate, regulate our climate? Which one? Regulate the the, the collocation is regulate our climate. Okay. So remember, regulate our climate and. And feeding. Ah, no, no, no. Com com composting. Composting. Okay. Let's or go. feeding that one. Yes. One reason why resources continue to be decision makers do not have a. Sustainable. Very good. Now for this one. This one. Programming. What, okay, what's the check. meaning for first one? Poly Pollinating. Pollinate. Remember bees? Bees, mm -hmm. they go on, sit on flowers and then they take the pollinate to mm -hmm. other plants. So bees are very useful because they pollinate for us. Mm -hmm. They pollinate our crops okay sort of pollinate yes so and this is capital has been thought of narrowly okay as means that very um very narrow definition not it's not wide it doesn't cover a lot of words it's a narrow one wow. and here is pollinating and the other one are oh, reliable uh, yeah. Liable, they are. Yes, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Now let's let's do. Um, how about some? Uh, how about summarizing the text? Have you done one for, online for me? Ah, uh, yeah, I did some today as well. But oh, good. Oh, I so we can do summarize the spoken text if you like. Yeah. Uh, yes. Do, yes. Do you want? Okay. And then you type it and send it for me, okay? Most people lived on or very close to the land that provided their food, except for a few exceptions. Life expectancy never rose above 35 or below 25. Education was a privilege, not a right. The Industrial Revolution began around 1750, and it occurred across most of the Earth, but it started in Europe. Almost all electricity around the world, whether it's from coal or nuclear power, just a steam engine. It's all still just water and heat, and it speaks to how truly revolutionary the Industrial Revolution was, that since then, it's really just been evolution. So steam engines used cheap British coal to keep British coal cheap, and cheap British coal created the opportunity for everything from railroads to steel, which like so much else in the Industrial Revolution, created a positive feedback loop. Britain, and to a lesser extent the Low Countries, had the highest wages in the world at the beginning of the 18th century. Mainly high wages combined with cheap fuel costs meant that it was economically efficient for manufacturers to look to machines as a way of lowering their production costs. To quote the historian Robert Allen, wages were high and energy was cheap. These prices led directly to the Industrial Revolution by giving firms strong incentives to invent technologies that substituted capital and coal. Did you get many words or? No, really, but really? I try. Okay, let's see how. Yeah. Uh, I'll be back, okay, you just type, I'll be back. Yeah. Okay.
What? Where is it? I don't know. Uh, I send it. All right. Uh, it's only 48. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, but, you I know, just, in the test, it should be 50 so that, uh, yeah. I just order what I hear it, but it, it was not enough. Uh, it's interesting. It doesn't, it doesn't copy whenever, <laughs> even in, yeah. When there's only one person in the class, still it doesn't come. Yeah, okay. I think somewhere in the they uh, uh, they didn't they disallowed it. So you see, whatever I do, okay. Yeah. So the topic of the lecture was revolution. Very good. It was industrial revolution, the industrial revolution, okay, that started in England with the uh, coal and steam engine. Okay. The speaker talked about Education, as we also went on and talked about electric power. Very good, my dear speaker highlighted the following points water and heat, steam engine, Britain, Britain, highest wage in the world. Very good, production cost, industrial cost, capital, and coal. Very good, yes, that's good. Even though I know it was the guy was speaking very fast, <laughs> okay? but still, you got enough, enough for the, for the mm -hmm. test, okay. Now, while you're here, let me just go and check whether I can find your exam you did two weeks ago. No, I did 4th of April. 4th of April, okay. Yeah, it's quite... Because uh, there are many people test to yeah. test every, you know, every now and then. Yeah. So today, 16 people just joined the test. Okay, so let me just... So do you, do you remember your uh, uh, my is that Mayuko? Your email is uh, my mm -hmm. cc at gmail.com. Oh, that's enough. That's enough. Let me check. No, it is not there. So you see, it is gone. Yeah. <laughs> it it only stays there for one week. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, almost one week. So if, for instance, um, Uh, uh, for instance, this one. Yeah. If uh, let's just check this one. So I, I will. It would be something like this. Uh, this is the uh, summarized recent text. Mm -hmm. This would be the essay writing, and this is summarized book text. This is the right from dictation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can check everything that you've done mm -hmm. here. So, once you're done, a, mark test A, yeah. let me know and I'll go and okay. check it. Okay, good. Now, um, all right. 
Okay, now we do some, what, what do you want to do? Mm. <laughs> I don't know, what should I do? Um, uh, essay writing or summarizing the text because uh, one of these. Uh, can, I watch, can I watch the videos about the summarized written, written text? Again? Yes, of course. Yeah, that would help you. If you forget a point here and there, that would help you with that. Okay, so. All right, so the first is strategies and then summarize it in text strategies. Number one, memorize the template word for word. Okay, the first thing you do is to memorize the template by typing it. You need to memorize it as it is with all the punctuation exactly where they are. Once you memorized it, depending on your typing speed, of course, it would take around two minutes to type it. As you can see, the words in black need to be memorized and the words in red need to be filled from the summarize it in text passage. Number two, don't try to make sense. When you fill in the blanks with content words, don't even try to make sense. The computer is good at the spelling, punctuation and grammar, but not at semantics, which is another name for meaning of words. Watch this video to see what I mean. First, a computer does not compare essays a following sentences I wake up shopping and vocabulary make such important content words you can find content words that are the answer to the following wh questions what when where why who and how many also use any nouns adjectives proper nouns and names that have been repeated several times in one of the blanks. For example, in this summarize it in text, the word nurse shark has been repeated more than six times. You can choose up to five or six content words in each blank. But three words, adjective and noun compounds, would be fine. You can also use a main verb with its accompanying words in one of the blanks so long as the verb is in ing form. Number four, do not use any auxiliary verbs or helping verbs in the blanks. Auxiliary verbs such as am, is, are and the rest as you can see here in this list. The reason is that once you throw in a helping verb, or an auxiliary verb, it messes with the grammar of the template. So no auxiliary verbs in the blanks. Number five, do not fill in the blanks with adverbs of time. Adverbs of time, such as ago, yesterday, last year, two months ago, and so on. 
Again, the reason is that adverbs of time ruin the grammar of the template. So no adverbs of time either. Number six, use a main verb plus ing in blank number three. In all other blanks, you can use nouns and adjectives and even main verbs, so long as they are in ing form or gerund. But in blank number three, you specifically need to use a main verb from the content and make it into ing form. This is because of the grammatical structure of that part of the sentence. We use a verb in ing form after a preposition and to here is a preposition. Number seven, you don't need to fully understand the passage. If reading is not your forte, just fill in the 11 blanks with adjectives and nouns and a verb in ing form in blank number three, you will get a reasonable score for this section. But I would certainly suggest that you read the passage and choose the main content words for the blanks. All right, let's do a few real so that it types. By the way, these are Okay, the first thing I do is to type the template. Them from the text in front of you. Okay, so I type the whole template first with the blank numbers. Then I read the summarize it in text and try to understand the main idea of the text and also look for those WH questions, what, where, when, who, and so on. I will give you some time to read the text. So have you read this before? Uh, Mayuko, did you read it before in the previous? Uh, have, have you read this passage before? Uh... Let me check. I think uh, a tiny tree frog. I need where it's my PPT. I, um, I mean, this is a real exam question. This a tree. This passage. Look in front of you. A tiny tree frog preserved in amber. Uh, yeah, I have done until number eight. Mm, okay. Yeah. It must be somewhere around there. Up to probably you have. Or you have. Anyway, so. Mm -hmm. I'll do this one. So I've done two. Do you want to watch this one or the other one? Uh, that's fine. I, I just want to know the... Oh, which one do you... I know. I, I always... I, when I do that one, I always put just uh, just the uh, find the... Oh, find the words. Which but words? Then you just uh, put in, but I didn't think about the what, when, where, what, ah. who, how many. <laughs> So, for instance, here, what is a tiny tree frog? Okay, yeah. where is Mexico? And what, when is 25 million? So, you see, it, there, there are, so remember, WH questions. Yeah. WH, what, where, who, when, whom, that sort of things. Okay? Okay. Now, um, I'm going to ask you to do some write from dictation. Okay, are you yeah. ready? I, I read the write from dictation to you and then uh, you write it down. Okay. Now, these are exam questions. My, um, one of my students had the test yesterday. Oh. So she remembered <laughs> her, uh, two, two of her write from dictation. And, uh, and uh, I have written them. So I'm going to ask you to write it. And then, of course, you memorize it yeah. for your test. I turn the camera off because. I'm going to read it from the text. Okay. Now, where is the text? Now, that's a question. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Number one. Yeah. Undergraduates have a wide range of cultural modules to choose from. Uh, 
under undergraduate have eh? a range of I don't get it. <laughs> okay. So this is right from dictation. Okay. So that, that, uh, that's it. I need to type it. Okay, yes. Yeah. Um. All right. Okay. Now this is the this is the real one. Okay. Yeah. Have a wide range of cultural modules to choose from. Okay. Okay. So write it down somewhere. This is a real exam question. I want you to memorize it. You might get it. It's very possible that you get one of these in your test. Oh, where it's the oh, give me a second. What? Uh, I don't know. Oh, you cannot copy it, right? Can you? I am trying, but... No, it doesn't. I told you that it, it, yeah. I cannot do that. So <laughs> of course you cannot do it. If, if I cannot do that as a teacher, then students never... Oh, uh, yeah, I can do it. <laughs> can you? How did you do that? Magic? Uh, give me a second. I will, I will take a video because... Ah. Yeah. You take a photo. Oh, you, you show me how to do it. Yes. Yeah. I will send you WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's that's the first one. Yeah. Did you send it? Not yet. Wait. Yeah, I send it then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did. I'll check it. Okay, the next one. Are you ready? Oh, here I got it. Okay. Are you, are you ready for the next one? Yeah. So yeah. she remembered two of them. Now, one, two, three. Yeah. The studies have shown, sorry, sorry, sorry. The studies show there is a positive correlation between two variables. Studies Okay, very good. <laughs> my, my mind doesn't work like that. Mine <laughs> doesn't, doesn't work like it's interesting. What is that? Do you have a Mac? Yeah, I have a Mac. <laughs> That's why. Okay. That's why. No, it doesn't it doesn't work on mine. Like, <laughs> interesting. Very good. So studies show. Studies show there is okay, studies show there is a positive correlation. Okay, correlation. Correlation. Between the two, between the two variables. Very good. So these two, she was, uh, she sure, she was sure that she got these two, and there we are. All right. Now, probably, yeah, I will send it to the group so that everyone can copy and. <laughs> it was in Australia, but I have a few more. And I'm going to make a new write from dictation and add it to the uh, one on the website. Okay, now we can go to the, all right. So now let's do some, do you want to do some repeat sentence? Ah, uh, yes. Or, or, or describe image, retail lecture, whatever you decide. Uh, I want to do the repeat sentence. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. 
All right. It is important that you work as a team on this project. It is important to work team project. Very good. It is important to work as a team on this project. Very good. The United States has become coffee culture in recent years. The United States become coffee culture, coffee culture in these days. Very good. Is Japan coffee culture or tea culture? Uh, I think tea culture because we're gonna drink a tea every day. Yeah. Yes, yes. As my country, we um, heavy tea drinkers, heavy, <laughs> heavy, heavy. Yeah, coffee, coffee is not popular in my country. Yeah. Good, next one. Number the beakers and put them away by tomorrow. Number the beakers, put the way away tomorrow. Very good, by tomorrow. By tomorrow. I believe that children should read aloud more. Uh, I believe children should read aloud more. Very good. I believe that children should read aloud more. Not repeat sentence, okay? Read aloud. <laughs> I live in a very old town which is surrounded by beautiful woods. I live in a very old town which is... Uh, I didn't get the last one. Surrounded by woods. Uh, Very good. The key findings seem to contradict our initial hypothesis. Uh, I the the key. <laughs> I don't. The key. Uh, could you repeat one more time? The key findings seem to contradict our initial hypothesis. The key finding seems to come. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I just remembered, Mayuko, okay. I wanted you not to see the screen <laughs> and I turned my video off. <laughs> I turned my video. I wanted to, to stop sharing, but I turned my video off because because I had the uh, this open in front of me and I was, I was saying, <laughs> undergraduates have a wide range of culture and you could see that. Uh, now I remember what I've done. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> All right. Okay. And you didn't you didn't say anything. <laughs> you said, oh, I can see that. Okay. Next one. <laughs> I work for a group that serves children with disabilities. I work at the group of the children. Who has disability? Very good, with disabilities, very good. It is important to validate all assumptions before arriving at a conclusion. It is important assumptions mm -hmm. to It is important to validate all assumptions before arriving at a conclusion. Before arriving at the conclu yeah, conclusion. <laughs> so. Okay. Next one. The children will be going to Japan in two days. The children will be going to Japan next two days. What's next two days or for two days? Two days, I think. In, in two, two days. days. Yes, means, yeah.
Heavy rain will fall throughout the country next week. Heavy rain falls next week. Okay. Heavy rain is throughout the country. Next week. Throughout the country. But it doesn't matter if you say heavy rain uh, in the country next week, fall throughout, still, you're going to get the score. Yeah. Are, you, are you writing? Uh, I just write the heavy rain falls next week. <laughs> you write the first initials, right? Yeah. Okay, next one. Half of the marks in mathematics are allocated to the correct working. Half marks in mathematics allocated to what? correct. Very good to correct working. Correct. Very good. Yeah, I write. I wrote C, but I didn't remember. <laughs> All right, next one. This module develops our understanding of the theory behind advertising campaign. This module de developed our understanding. Understanding. Understanding the theory behind this campaign. This module develops our understanding of the theory behind advertising campaign. Okay. To receive the reimbursement, you must keep the original receipt. Uh, to receive the, you must keep the original receipt. Very good. Reimbursement. Yeah, I did this one today. Oh. <laughs> did, you know, did you know the word reimbursement? Oh, uh, yeah, I checked it today. Mm. Yeah. Yes. The money they, uh, if they give you yeah. back, the refund, reimbursement is refund. I did this one right from the dictation maybe today. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. In this library, reserved collection books can be borrowed for up to three hours. In this library, can be borrowed up to three hours. Very good. Very good. So you just missed this section, that's fine. Still, you got 70% of it. In this library, reserved collection books can be borrowed for up to three hours. Your thesis should have a fairly limited scope. Your visa mm -hmm. should have very, but what's that? Should have a very a limited scope. So your thesis, remember in uh, essay writing, you need to have a thesis. Remember yeah. thesis. It is thus agreed that <laughs> thesis. Okay, so your thesis should be fairly limited scope. Okay. If you need any information about the university, you can check from information office located beside the corridor. If you need any information about, about the university, mm -hmm. besides corridor, to next. Very good. If you need any. By the, by, the, by the way, if you're speaking up your voice. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, as if you're typing. Very good, as if you are doing it. That's good. Okay, next one. Very good. The meeting will take place in the main auditorium. 
The meeting will take place on a trio. The meeting will take place in the May. Uh, Auditorium. Auditorium. Audio, or it comes from audio, means yeah, where, where you can listen to something. Auditorium. All right, two more, and then we go to describe image. In our daily lives, we probably make silly mistakes. In our daily lives, we probably make mistakes. Very good, you got everything correct. Next. Most of the strategies are in a preclinical state. Most of the strat these strategies, clinical states, most of the strategies are in a pre preclinical pre state. state. All right, describe image. Oh. 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 Oh, give me a second. Yes, what happened? I need to find the template. <laughs> ah, okay. You haven't memorized it yet? No. All right. The image describes, it also provides, it is clear in conclusion. Go, go, okay, find it, find it. Find it, find it. Where it is? <laughs> Topic. Topic of the, uh, no. The image describes, it also provides. I find it. Okay. Ready? Next one. The picture describes about poverty rights by age by gender 2012. It also provides some information about different categories such as age 65 and older age 18 to 64 under age 18. It's clear from the imagine that uh, under age 18 contribute the most. On the other hand, age 18 to 64 contribute the least. Finally, by looking at picture, it can be seen that the picture is showing in important information based on fact and figures, having a significant effort on females, males, Very 11, good. 16. Very good, time's up, excellent. So try to remember before the exam, I want you to memorize, okay? <laughs> can you see? Yeah, I can see. The picture describes about percentage of student proficient in the foreign language. It also provides some information about different categories, such as China, Romania, Thailand, India, Russia, and Vietnam. It is clear from the image that China contributes the most. On the other hand, Thailand contributes the least. Finally, by looking at the picture, it can be seen that the picture is showing about important information based on factor and figures having a significant effect on China 28, Romania 20, 35 males and females respectively.
Very good, excellent, good. One more. The picture describes about months and temperature. It also provides some information about different categories, such as January, February, March, and April. It is clear from the imaging that July contributes the least. Uh, on the other hand, September contributes the most. Finally, by looking at the picture, it can be seen that the picture is showing important information based on facts and figures, having a significant effort on July is 200, November is 100. Respectively. Respectively. Very good, it's towards the end, so it's finished, very good. Let me go to, three, two. oh. Okay. The picture describes about Australian population since 1900. It also provides some information about different categories such as 1900, 1920, 1940, 1960. It is clear from the imaging that 1900 contribute the most. On the other hand, 2000 contribute the least. But finally, by looking at the picture, it can be seen that the picture is showing important information based on fact and figures having a significant effect on 1925 millions, uh, 1960, 10 millions, respectively. Very good. Excellent. All right. So, one more, <laughs> just to make sure that you today you will memorize it <laughs> just by repeating it. Yeah, I remember it. number one, two, three, but that's yeah, difficult. <laughs> Distance. The picture describes about distance. It also provides some information about um, blocking distance, thinking distance, and step stopping distance. It it is clear from the imaging that um, breaking distance contributes the most. On the other hand, stopping distance contributes the least. Finally, by looking at the imaging, it can be seen that the picture is showing important information based on facts and figures, having a significant effort on stopping distance 20. Uh, Thinking distance is green respectively. Good. Uh, Mayuko, it's not imagine, okay? You say uh, imagine. Yeah, picture. Image or picture. Very good. Just say picture because you said twice imagine, okay? <laughs> Just say, if you want, say image or picture. Yes. Don't say imagine, okay? Good. So the image describes, it also, or the picture describes, it also provides, it is clear in conclusion or finally. Okay, uh, retail lecture. The brand is the talent. Twenty-three thousand years ago, towards the end of the Old Stone Age, also known as the Upper Paleolithic, the weather in Europe and in many parts of the world took a turn for the worse. 
Temperatures plummeted, rain levels fell and a massive ice sheet slowly advanced to cover most of northern Europe and stayed there for the next few thousand years. We know that during this glacial period, many animal and plant species sought shelter in Europe's three warmer southern peninsulas, Iberia, Italy and the Balkans. But the question is, where did the people go? Archaeological material recovered from this time period has shown that a large number of our ancestors retreated to Franco-Cantabria, an area covering the southwest of France and northeastern tip of Spain. But was this the only area where people travelled to to escape the worst of the weather? Let's go back to the growing ice sheet. In order to grow, the ice mass had to take up water, causing sea levels to fall. At its maximum, when the ice reached as far south as Germany, sea levels were up to 120 metres lower than today. That's approximately the same height as the London Eye. As a result, areas of shallow sea became exposed and Europe's shape was very different to the one we recognise. It could be that humans lived on these exposed shores during the Paleolithic, but we have no evidence of their settlements because it's now all underwater. The topic of the lecture was ice bonds. The speaker talked about um, weather. The speaker also went and talked about the European countries and climate. Finally, the speaker highlighted the following point, plant animals, with, uh, where people go north eastern countries, icebergs, sea rivers, and... Very good. I also had Italy. Italy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Good. Very good. All right. Another one. John Milton is best known for his poetry, especially Paradise Lost, but also for the more accessible and shorter Lycidas and L'Allegro and Il Penseroso, plus one or two sonnets you'll find in most anthologies. But an easier way into what he thought and believed in social and political terms is through his prose writings. These were mostly pamphlets and tracts written in reaction to some political event or situation but also included pamphlets on a wide variety of subjects, including at least four on divorce, which for him was tied up with personal freedom. However, the text which has probably had the most relevance down the years, and which can still be read with profit, is the Areopagitica, which is a defence of freedom of expression and publication, and against censorship. It was written as a reaction to an attack on himself, in particular a pamphlet on divorce he had written, and which some condemned as a wicked book. The topic of the lecture was John Milton. The speaker talked about his po poetry and the speaker also went and talked about when he thought and finally the speaker highlighted the following point what he was writing political writing tied up personal information and politics and freedom publication and the book excellent respectively Victory. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yes. Why not? One more and then we'll start with answer short question. Okay. Oops, 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 oops. It seems to me that architecture is very much something that causes us both pleasure and trouble. 
I live in the part of Western London where I think many of the streets are, where I live, are really, really ugly. And this is, distresses me every time I walk to a supermarket or walk to a tube. I think, why did they build that? And with terribly without architecture. It lasts so long, and if you write a bad book or do a bad play, you know, I will be shocked when it is showed and no one would suffer. A bad building has a serious impact for, could be hundreds of years on the people around it. And suppose the book arose a little bit from frustration, almost anger, and there is so much bad architecture around. And then I realized if you talk about architecture, you will say why buildings are not more beautiful. And you will say, I can use such a word as beauty. That's a really arrogant word. And no one knows what beautiful is. It's all in the eye of the beholder. I couldn't help but think that, actually. Well, you know, that we all attempt to agree that Rome is nice, nicer than Milky Kings, and San Francisco has the edge of Frankfurt, so we can make that sort of generalization. Surely there are some things we can say about why a building works or why it doesn't. So the books really attempt to suggest why architecture works when it does and what might be going to be wrong when it doesn't work. The topic of the lecture was architecture. The speaker talked about pleasure. The speaker also went and talked about the Western London. Uh, finally, the speaker highlighted the following points. Uh, ugly buildings, terrible, when, when, uh, why they built, bad buildings, 100 years people, uh, why not beautifully elegant, and San Francisco. Respectively, very good. Respectively, excellent, very good. All right, so now we do answer short question. That's it. So we're going to start with number seventy-six. Where do you usually find a crossword? Crossword magazine. Very good. Newspaper? No. Newspaper or magazine? Yes. Two children born at the same time to the same mother are called? A twins. Excellent. How many sides of a peninsula are surrounded by water? How many? Sides. Right. Just say a number. Then when they say how many, just say a number. Hundred. Okay, three. Three. <laughs> Next. Very good. So um, let me explain this first. How many sides of a peninsula? Mm -hmm. So may I, may I ask, you're in Melbourne? Are you in Melbourne? Yeah. Okay. Where, where in Melbourne? Uh, I'm in the Docklands. All right. Oh, Docklands. So you are in one of those high towers, right? Yeah. It's okay. The... Which floor? 100. Uh, no, 21. Uh, oh. 21, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you, you see the Dockland now, all right? You see the Dockland area. Now, um, Peninsula is like um, Mornington Peninsula is like uh, Frankston. So Peninsula is like... Um, uh, let me show you a peninsula. <laughs> but do you know what it is? You don't know, right? Yeah, I know what it. The I know the word. So what does it mean, peninsula? It's the small island. Uh, the the uh, yeah <laughs> yeah peninsula. Look. Yeah. Okay. So this section from here, okay, mm -hmm. up to here, it's a peninsula. And how many sides? So one, two, two three, and three. So if this section was cut. Oh. Then it was an island. This is an island. Okay. If so, look, look at this. This is a peninsula. So there's a way you can go that there's no water. I mean, yeah, there is a piece of land. So that's a peninsula. So a lot of countries are peninsula. It means that they are surrounded by water, but they are not cut off from. So this is a peninsula. Look at this one. This is a real uh, photo from a 
I think it's, it's yes, it is the Bay of uh, Melbourne. Okay. So how many sides of a peninsula is surrounded by water? What is the noun form of wide? Width. Very good. Which of the following is not real? A unicorn or a giraffe? A unicorn. A unicorn. A unicorn, yes. Um, A giraffe in Japanese is kiret, 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 what did you say? I'm sorry? Kirim. Oh, yes, kirim, kirim, yeah. yes, I remember that, yes. All right, because you said that once, yeah. I remember. <laughs> okay. Now, we get one or two and then we call it a day. In addition to the letters A, E, I, O, what is the other vowel? U. Huh? Very good, yes, U. <laughs> A, E, I, O, U. What are the bird's bodies covered with? Skin. Feather. 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 Okay. feather. Yes. What's feather in Japanese? Feather. Eh? It's the same as. Oh, let me check. <laughs> you don't know what feather is in Japanese? A color? You. No, no. How, how do you say how do you say feather in Japanese? Feather, feather. Uh, no, no. Feather, feather. Feather. No mm -hmm. Sorry. Hane. Ah, okay. So let me check. I want to check if you are correct or not because I suspect you are not real Japanese. <laughs> feather <laughs> in ja. Okay, feather there you go. Japanese. Uh, kanji, kanji, kanji. <laughs> you can see. Uh, really? Which one? Feather. 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 So is it feather? Feather. 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 Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wing plume. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> feather. All right. Okay. On on feather, we finish the class today. Do you have any more questions? No, that's all right. Thank you very much for coming to class, Mayuko. Have a good night. You did. Bye. Yeah. Bye.